Hi, welcome to Wellness. I am your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and people. Today I'm joined by a wonderful woman who is Nancy Stingione. Uh, she is Executive Director of Yorktown Chamber of Commerce, um, as well as she has her own business for 25 years, Unique Design Creations. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you, Linda, for having me today. Oh, it's my I'm pleasure. Excited. How did you get involved with Unique Design Creations? Well, it all started started when my children were little, mm -hmm. and I was creative, and I would uh, design things, whether it was designer t-shirts, I would create ceramics, and then I would go to different church fairs and vendor fairs, and I would sell my products. And then I decided that I wanted to get into gifting, and that brought me into my gift basket service. And the purpose and my mission of that business is to bring joy and love and comfort and all those emotional experiences to the people that I gift to. And through, of course, uh, people that need a gift. So yes. that's how I got into it. And I just love what I do. I love when I present a gift to someone and see the expression and the joy that it brings to them. And you do, you do, Nancy. I wanted you to be on the show because when I think of a woman in network in her own business, um, so together in so many venues and just so lovely and so humble, I think of you. Um, the times that you've gotten a basket together for me, um, you've always been um, right on. You specifically tailor it to each one's needs and desires, whether it's uh, a traumatic or a loss or something happy you put your personal um, sign or design on each specific meeting, even today in terms of for my crew, uh, for Frankie and for Amanda and uh, Eric um, and Jennifer. You put together in terms of a lovely basket for us to share and, uh, and little chocolates. I mean, you always do that personal touch. And specifically, I have, uh, I have a, uh, a friend who has gone through tremendous uh, tragedy in her life of multiple deaths. And I talked to you, and right away you had something together that was just so personal and so beautiful, mm -hmm. and you have a gift. You really do. Um, and in doing so, but you not only do it for one venue, you do it for so many, and you're so creative in that respect. You really do. And when I do get uh, a request for a gift, I really think about the person it's going to and try to be practical and what would bring them comfort what would their needs be mm -hmm. and what would bring them joy mm -hmm. and it seems and I always that. I always I get it right and you know for with the response that I get and I just sure. love that part of what I do yeah and you do it very very well and it's not just giving a gift but it's the experience of the gift mm-hmm it is, and you give of your heart. With yes. Valentine's Day coming, you, yes. you give of your heart. I remember when my mom was a little down, and you didn't even know her, and you put this lovely basket together for her, um, and uh, it really was beautiful and right. touched her. It so really it's not her. just where I'm sitting there assembling some you know, uh, product, but I, again, I do it, like you said, from my heart. Mm -hmm. I really bring my emotion into it, and I just vision that, this is going to make them so happy. And, and of shows. course, this is the month of bringing joy, love, happiness, and not just to, you know, your partner or spouse, but you could, you know, send that love to anyone. That's right. Just uh, make it a great day and yes. try to make yes. at least three people smile at yes. you. Yes. Yes. All about that. And that's what I love to do. And you do, and you do it very well. Um, in terms of being uh, a professional woman entrepreneur, mm -hmm. what are some tips that you would recommend to women? Um, we have the phenomenal Master Networks, which uh, we adore, yes. and it teaches us so much in business. But what are some other things that are tips, how you start your day, or that you can share with my viewers? Well, I start my day by being grateful for the day, mm -hmm. and I really keep my uh, health mm -hmm. in check. You it's so do. important, especially you as you age. Right. And I just uh, 
just really focus that it's going to be a great day, mm -hmm. especially being so busy in the different hats and different positions that I hold. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's always trying to keep myself in a good place, whether uh -huh. it's through meditation right. or reading or uh, listening to a book. So that's, you know, what I do on an everyday basis. That's and wonderful. of course, with my connections through my networking, mm -hmm. I've met some phenomenal people. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's more than just uh, on a business level. Sure. But connections, sure and you can actually open up and be yourself. And if you need advice, put something, and we've done that. Yes. You know, yourself and I, Absolutely. Uh, Linda. Yes. And it's it's been wonderful. I've met yeah. so many wonderful people, yeah. and yeah. they really have helped me to be in the place that I am today. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I um, joined two years ago, and every time I go, I learn something. Yes. Um, and it makes me better at my business. Mm -hmm. As uh, Tina Campbell, the regional yes, partner, says of New York and Connecticut, <laughs> that uh, uh, Master Networks uh, creates effective communication through effective networking mm -hmm. and effective business. And I certainly agree. Uh, in terms of you, you mentioned about being on top of you in terms of uh, taking care of yourself, um, gratitude, as well as taking care of nutrition and health. What's a tip you do in terms of nutrition or wellness that you do for yourself? Well, I try to eat as healthy as I can. Of <laughs> course, there's those little snacks and sure. those seasons where you want your, you know, your different treats. Right. But um, I really try to eat as healthy as I can. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, right. and that has helped me. It helps me with my energy. Right. So if I have an right. off day and sure. I go out and I'm eating something that's really not that healthy, mm -hmm. I do feel it. You do so feel it. So I really try to stay on track and keep my energy level up. Which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. I'm always saying to my patients that I've had in 21 years and all ages, that if you're really in touch with what you eat and how you feel, um, you begin to pattern not a diet but a lifestyle change around yes. just functioning to be the best you can be. Yes. And that when you do eat wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to feel it. And my husband, mm -hmm. he enjoys bodybuilding, and he oh, has always he? said he used to compete many years ago, but uh -huh. he always he believes in not dieting, uh -huh. but I to agree with him. to eat. Right. where you're living a lifestyle You've got through it. the way you're eating. That is a, And I always, right. there's so many diets out there right. and just uh, right. following what he has said has really helped me because I can still enjoy my mm -hmm. foods, mm -hmm. right. but know that, you know, I'm eating healthy. Right. And no. it's just a lifestyle. It's not, you know, I'm, I have to worry about this amount of calories or eating this or right. eating that. And right. another... Right. Uh, you know, lifestyle that I believe is in moderation, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so you could have the best of everything as long as you really pay attention to it in moderation. That's right. You know? And also if you have a craving to give into the craving, yes. but minimally. Exactly. So that it doesn't linger. Exactly. Um, I gave exactly. a workshop the other night at the con <laughs> library and specifically I told them that we do not want to think of it as a diet. We want to think of it a lifestyle yes. change. That's something that we can live with but it's also not depriving. Right. That uh, right. we feel that gives us energy, sustains that energy, mm -hmm. and helps us from not being, having cravings. Right. So if we really want to have that dark chocolate, it's yes. okay. Just Which, don't have. help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't have the whole box. <laughs> and you go beyond <clears throat> being this amazing entrepreneur and your business, and you touch so many lives in so many special ways. Um, what do you do for relaxation? Well, I love to read. Mm -hmm. I'm a big reader. That's and there are so many other things I enjoy doing, but I enjoy ballroom dancing, mm -hmm. which I've been doing for many years. Wow. And it's like you get, whether it's taking a lesson, you get into that lesson and everything just steps aside. And uh -huh. it's like, it's, it's relaxing. Right, right. And uh, you've done ballroom dancing for how long? A long time. Right. I, my husband and I met on a dance floor. 
Oh, from, we're from the disco era, oh, so we met on the dance era. floor, and we've been at it for 38 years. The disco so era. So we take ballroom dancing lessons. We've been doing that for about 15 years, mm -hmm. and we do do showcases for fundraisers. We'll put on a show for, you know, the fundraiser. Sure. And it helps them raise money. Sure. Which yeah. we enjoy doing. <laughs> right. So, and it's a great social aspect. It's a great date night. That's wonderful. And you do that. You do that with your husband on a regular basis. And yes, I didn't know we try. He was in bodybuilding, so both yes. of you are like the epitome of yes. a wonderful role model for our uh, age group. Yes, um, and that's really... we want to keep it up because, you know, we want to be able to continue doing it for the next twenty <laughs> or more years. That's a great philosophy you know. and a great way to look at things. Yeah. And I've all, since I've known you for uh, two and a half years, I, I've seen that you're always trying to improve upon yourself. Nothing is, is ever for yourself. Mm -hmm. you, you always try to take the, that next step forward to learn to eat a better thing or yes. exercise a better way. And that's why I see you as a yes. very um, beautiful, healthy role model. Thank you. Um, you know, and you've been an inspiration to me for many years. Thank you, Linda. You really do. As you to me. Oh. And again, it goes back to learning from each other. And it does. There's no matter at any point in your life, you can always learn from other people. I, I and apply I it into your life. I do. And it gives us, you know, it brings us a fulfilling life mm -hmm. by doing that and it, and connecting right. with people. It does. And I always say, as Socrates, that um, an unexamined life is a life not worth living. Yes. That we continuously have to learn every day. Yes. And I try to share that when I teach RDs or teach workshops. Mm -hmm. that that's where we can be the best we possibly can. Yes, so absolutely. we have um, about two minutes okay. to um, uh, finish off. Is there anything last you would like to share with my viewers? Well, um, another way I connect with people, I am the mm -hmm. executive director of the Yorktown Chamber of Commerce, and how I got into that position was I was a member of the chamber. And it, again, it goes back to the connecting and bringing in to your community mm -hmm. what you love. And so I, I have been in that position for five years, and I've made so many connections, and I've been yeah. able to make connections through my master networks and my position at, as the executive director. So it's been a wonderful, you know, it's and every you do day. It it's so a well. wonderful. Thank you. And you thank you absolutely. again for having me oh, on the show. It was my pleasure it's, to finally have you. I know. You. <laughs> You're I know. so busy. Thank um, you so much. Keep doing wonderful things. Thank for you. And I look forward to continue enough. working with you oh, yeah. and what you do for all of it. us. You do so much for all of us, Linda. Oh, it's and my we, pleasure. It you really know, is. It's my we pleasure. We learn so much from you. Oh, thank you. So remember that when you eat well and begin to feel great, uh, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember that moderation and balance are key. Live well and be well. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night. Thank you.